Hey guys, Pogo here with the next episode of Bucket Coding. Uh, in this episode, as requested by a few people, I'm going to show you how to use the Holographic Displays library to create holographic displays. Um, this library basically allows you, as it says, to create um, displays of text that float in the air, sort of like how players have a name above their head, you can create multi-line text displays above um, the in the air with no entity below it. It's actually pretty cool. So to do this, we're going to use the Holographic Displays Library, um, which is also a plugin. You can download it from this page, which will of course be in the description. I've chosen to use this library in question because it is the only one that actually has an API and that is released. So this is the one that I'm going to use in this video. And as you can see, there is an API button that will take you to the specific package on GitHub that contains the um, API classes. And I'm going to actually show you how to use them. So the first thing that you need to do is go ahead and download the latest version. Right now it's 1.4.2. You're going to go ahead and download it and install it. Just drop it into the plugins folder of your server. Then over in Eclipse, you're going to want to make a new package. In this example, I'm going to make it so that when a player dies, a hologram is left where they die, sort of like a gravestone. So you want to go ahead and right-click on your project and do Properties, go to Build Path and Libraries. Of course, you need Craft Bucket, but also make sure that Holographic Displays is in there. Now in the plugin already I have um, registering events and then I just have a player death event. Now if we go over to the API you'll see that there are excuse me, two classes of interest the hologram class and the holographic displays API class. And we're going to be using the holographic displays API class. So over here we're going to say um, holographic displays API dot and now you'll see that it will that something will show up. Now, usually, uh, if you did not have this in your build path, uh, this would not work. So make sure that you do. But if you do, then you'll see that there are three methods. There's create hologram. Uh, both take a plugin, a location, but one of them also takes a list of strings, and then the other one takes a um, var arg, basically like a string array of lines. And then there is get holograms. Basically, uh, if you want to create a hologram, you pass it the plugin, uh, the location where you want it to go, and then like the lines that you want it to have. And then you can also retrieve a list of holograms by passing the plugin. So basically, uh, when you pass the plugin, that's the plugin where the hologram is matched, and then you can retrieve it at a later time. So we can go ahead and say create hologram. And for the plugin, we're going to give it this, since this is a Java plugin. For the source, we're going to say e.get. Um, entity rather dot get location and then for the lines we can go ahead and just write a couple of lines so we're going to say um, e dot get entity dot get name and then we're going to say died here and then let's just go ahead and get this a little bit nicer so we can have a bunch of lines and I do believe that it supports color, so we can give that a try. Um, we'll see if it does. Chat color dot. Um, let's just go gray. Uh, so they died here. Chat color dot gray. And then we're going to say um, cause of death. And then we're going to say e dot get. And there should be something in here to get the cause of the death. E dot get entity dot get. Okay, so maybe there isn't. I thought that there actually was. Alright, so um so we wanna say that the person uh, died here and then we could just say um Check color dot gray, and then we'll say time of death will be, and then for this you can just say new date. 
and you want to use java.util.date, basically that'll just um, create a new instance of date, which represents the current time, and then uh, it'll automatically print out what you're looking for. So, it basically it'll just say, like, you know, Pogo 29 died here, and then on the next line it'll say time of death, and then it'll say the time of death. Now, one other interesting thing is that create hologram actually returns a class of, called hologram, so we can say um, hologram h is equal to. Make sure to import hologram, and then you can see you can have h dot, and here you can actually change a lot of things. Uh, add line for, of course, adding a line. You can clear all the lines. You can like remove the hologram. Um, you can get all of the lines. You can get the length of the lines. You can hide the hologram. You can insert a line at a specific point. Uh, you can check if the hologram is in a specific chunk. Um, you can remove a specific line. You can set a specific line, um, which is so you can insert a line at like one and it would bump everything else down. You can just modify a specific line. Um, and then the update method, which is called automatically, I believe, but you could, like, you know, manually update it if you change something about it. So we don't really need to save that instance of hologram because we're not going to do anything with it, but you can if you wanted to have the ability to modify anything later. So let's go ahead and export this plugin and give it a try. Don't forget that I do have, um, the holographic, um, displays library, uh, plugin installed in the plugins folder which is necessary or else this won't start up and let's just make sure that it's going to start up correctly alright so as you can see that does work we have holographic displays which works and graves which also works so now let's go ahead and fire up minecraft and we'll actually give it a try see if it works Alright, so let's play, and we got Minecraft right here. Note that I'm running 1.7.5, which does make a difference, because I believe if you're running 1.6.4, uh, it is supported, but uh, the string, like the length, can, can't be more than 64, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, you, you know, you, it, it varies based on uh, the version with the NMS and whatever. So let's actually go ahead and try this out. I'm just going to use the suicide command, which should trigger the event. So first, let's like set the home over here so I can get back there. And then let's just go over here and do suicide. All right, so it did say that I died. So let's go home and see if it actually worked. All right, now as you can see, it did... Um, you can't really see it because it's a bit too far down, so we can actually, let's go ahead and fix that. Let's say we want it to float a little bit in the air. When I call the, lo when I get the location, it's going to be, you know, too low, so we could say, um, uh, or I believe we could actually just say, e.getLocation.set, or, let's see. So we want to add 0 and 0, but we, but we want to add for the y, let's say, 20. And now let's see if it'll work any better. Let's reload. That should get rid of the other one. And now let's go ahead and go right here and do the suicide command. Now if we go home, and let's take a look. Hmm. I do not see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. It went really high up. So, rather than 20, let's just do like 5, I suppose. But as you can see, it says Pogo Stick 29 died here. Time of death. And then it gives you a very specific time. It has Sunday, March 30th at 134417 Eastern Daylight Time. 2014. So if you wanted to change that to make it a little bit less specific, I'll show you that in one second. Um, but basically, um, as you can see, it's floating in midair. There's no like entity that you can see. It's just floating by itself, and I think that's pretty cool. 
So let me just quickly show you how to make the date a little bit better. Let's just go ahead and declare a date or instantiate a date, date, date equals new date. Now, if we just want to say the time, so like maybe um, 1.45, then we can say um, date dot. And now you'll see that um, a lot of these methods are deprecated, and you can actually still use them, and they work. But what you would actually want to do is say calendar dot get instance dot get and then calendar dot and then we want to know the um, hour so we can actually just switch this over to say calendar c equals calendar dot get instance and then we can say c dot get hour and then we're gonna put slash and then we're gonna say c dot get for calendar dot minute and then that should do like or we actually want that so it should say like 146 uh, and then we could do c dot get um, calendar dot am or pm and now what we would want to do is this will return like a number representing either am or pm so we would want to say am pm so we want to say if it's equal to calendar dot am then it would say am otherwise it would say pm that's called a ternary operator. Basically, it's it's just like a shortened if statement. It's just saying we're getting for AM PM, and if it's equal to AM true, then it's AM false. It's PM. So now let's um, clean up the imports and give it one more try. And let's head down right here. Run the suicide command. Go home. And now, as you can see, it's floating still a bit too high, so I'll turn it down. But it is clearly a lot better. And as you can see, it says, um, Pogosic29 died here, time of death, 1.47 p.m., which, you know, that is correct. You could add, like, a little space in there so you can see the space. But um, as you can see, that clearly does work. So that was just a... Uh, video on holographic displays. Uh, it basically shows you how to create a text display. At this time, no API could find supports uh, images. So if an API does get updated to support like passing an image and then it displays an image, I will make a follow-up video. But for now, all you can do with it is um, text. So uh, as always, subscribe if you want to see more. Comment with what you want to learn. If you like this video, click the like button. If you have any questions or problems, make sure to let me know as well. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.